are Finland and its capital city Helsinki. This city is famous. Located near the Arctic Russian border, the best time to visit Helsinki is in the summer, when there isn't 18 hours of pure darkness each day. It's a really, really interesting city. There are many interesting things to see. Like, um, ships. As a harbor town, many people come to Helsinki in order to leave it. By ship. Helsinki has several kinds of ships and boats. Like this one. Or this one. This one's so interesting. Helsinki is one of the wealthiest capitals in Europe. So everything, no matter how strange it is, is like three times the price. Interestingly, Finland is one of the happiest countries in the world. Happiness! And would you believe me if I told you that there are more women than men? Well, that's good odds for the men, am I right? With more than my share of happiness. Now here's something that's really interesting. If you've ever been to Hungary before, and then you come and visit Finland, you might recognize the language. That's because both languages are very similar. So, if you don't like the language in Hungary, chances are you won't like the language in Finland. Let's see, what does that say? Yarn veg store get in Fagel Rock and I don't know. Hammer slack and what? Really? Where can the Like many other European cities, Helsinki has a bridge of love. This is a bridge for when lovers, when they get married, attach a padlock. It's like vandalism, if you think about it. Helsinki is called the Daughter of the Baltic, probably for some reason. The city's animal symbol is the squirrel. Speaking of squirrels, did you know that Germans can't say squirrel? Oh yeah, it's true. Hmm, nice door. Now if you're bored of all the city's fascinating ships, you can also check out Helsinki's interesting buildings. Here's the Uspensky Cathedral. It's the largest Orthodox church in Western Europe. And of course, the most recognizable part of Helsinki is the somewhat large neoclassical Lutheran Cathedral. Or Tumurekirku. More than 350,000 people visit the church each year, some to attend religious events, but most being tourists who got lost in the city. The cathedral overlooks Senate Square, which is part of the oldest area of Helsinki. The statue in the middle of the square is that of Alexander II of Russia, who is famous for emancipating the serfs in 1861. Who could forget that? What? What the Helsinki is this? Oh, it's just the local Christian group singing a song on the steps of the cathedral. Nice, huh? Well, despite their catchy yellow tune, Finland has actually had a steep increase in atheism over the last 10 years. So, there you go. Now, if you're anything like me, and you like paying triple the price just to see the same typical European historical city center, then Helsinki is the place for you. But, if you're also like me, then you'd rather visit Slovakia. Slovakia.